It's him and I, or Quim and I. Hey guys, um, I felt something was going on with the fresh washer. And I'm like, something's not right. So, I show you the video how I set up the tips and stuff. Somehow, this tip is straight, but this one right here is straight. But one of them is not shooting correctly for some reason. I don't know what happened. It might be clawed up or something. Um, I have to figure out what's going on. Let's take it. That one's shooting out. This one isn't. I have a feeling that this one might be clawed. So let me go back and take this one off to see if there's anything in it. Um, that way um, we can make sure it's running smooth because the machine is, is vibrating. That means it's off balance. And when I was trying to clean, one of, them, one of the tips seemed like it wasn't spraying correctly. So I'm gonna take it off and see if it's clear. See guys, this is the reason you always have tools with you. Alright, this is starting to tighten up. So now I know I need to line my tip up with the bar. Show you closer. See how that tip, the line right there on, on the tip is lined up with the bar. So that's how you want to put your tips on. I got a video of me putting the tips on. So go check that video out where I put the tips on this uh, fresh wash. All right, I hope that I got it clear. Only one way to find out, I have to crank it up to see what happens, but we can take, squeeze the trigger right now. I still got water going through it. So look at it, one of them is still, that one's clear, this one isn't, so. Yeah. This got some kind of trash in it. I need to get that trash out. Okay, guys. I think this thing is clogged. I'm gonna try to clear it out. I think that hole should be a little bit bigger. You see a little light, but not much. Let me see if I can get something to clear this. All right, guys, I got it cleared out. I got my Teflon tape back on it. Uh, asked my customer if they had a needle and they did. And there was something in it. As soon as I took the needle and put it into the tip, it pushed it out. So I don't know what kind of trash that was in there, um, but I think I got all of it out. I want to make sure that I got everything clear before I put this back on, because if not, it's just going to claw right back up. A lot of guys use thread lock on these. I think I may start using thread lock myself. There we go. Just like I showed you earlier, the line on the, t on the tip is with parallel with this bar right here. So let's squeeze and see what happens. That was good. Now I'm questioning if that was, is that the one I just put on? So the other one's clawed up too. So we're gonna have to take this one off and clean it. Yeah, this one's clawed up too. So let me go get the needle and clean this out again. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna do, I got this needle right here. I'm gonna take this needle, put it to the tip to push whatever's in here out. So. It was something in it. I don't know what was in it.
Yeah, it's, it's free flowing now. So let's see. Yeah, the needle's coming all the way through. I don't see nothing coming out. All right, that's clear. All right, guys, as you can see, you can see through it better now. So that tells you that it's clear. So let's hope it stays that way. Take my Teflon tape. This is one of the things you should have in your toolbox, guys. So make sure you have Teflon tape for your tips. And also, if you're gonna change out um, a quick connect, you need to put Teflon tape on your connections. Anytime that you have something with grooves, you wanna make sure that you have some kind of tape or something to put in there so it won't cause a leak. I think the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna replace this bar with a different bar. When I looked in there, it's rust in it. It could be rust that's breaking off and getting stuck in here. So to solve that problem, we'll replace this bar. I think it's anywhere between $25 to $50 for this bar. All right, both of them lined up. Let's see what happens. I believe that's good. So let's crank up the machine and see what happens back over here. It's him and I, a criminal.